So I'm here to just share a lime ice top tumbler. That's this one in the middle that I'm doing. Actually this one on the left I have turning is my Halloween candle turn uh, tumbler. And this one's gonna be a marble zipper tumbler. So I'll actually post those videos once I complete this and see how the process goes because I'm trying that for the first time. Okay guys, so I've already prepped my cup. I spray painted it white. I'm gonna mix up the epoxy and I use KS resin. And I'm gonna actually mix up about, maybe I'll do 30 cc's of this. So you take part A and I usually use measuring cups to measure it out. So it'll be 15 cc's in one cup and 15 of B in the other cup. Okay, and once I got that measured out, I'm gonna actually put it in my, I have a little mixer, or you can mix it by hand. And I have it mixed for about two or three minutes. And then I'll take it out and I'm gonna put a flood coat onto the tumbler because I'm gonna make like a marble technique on this lime tumbler. So let me just finish measuring up part B. E. Okay, there we go, perfect. So that's A and B. I have a Dixie cup that I usually will put it in. And I think I will use, I have a metal stir. So I'll use that for today. Sometimes you could use popsicle sticks, which I do have, but this one was closer. Just scrape part B into the cup. Just make sure I get everything out. Then I will pour in part A. And you could do these in any order. Because they're going to be mixed up. Make sure, like I said, get everything out. Okay, there we go. Now let's this down. So now I'm gonna actually put it on my mixer. And I'm actually gonna set that for just let it spin for about three minutes. Okay, I usually will clean off my mixer with, I have just some regular disinfectants and antibacterial wipes. And it usually will take off all the epoxy off the stirrers. That's if you're using one that you can reuse. Okay, throw that out. Now, the inks that I'm gonna be doing on this to make it kind of mix is gonna be pinata white. I have Ranger alcohol ink. This one's limeade. I have a little darker green, which is says lime green on there. And I'm also gonna add in some of Marabou, the alcohol ink with the color shift. This one has the blue and the purple, actually blue and green on there, sorry. And then I'm gonna add in a little bit of glitter. This is by Glitter Guy, and they have great glitter. And this one's Killer Tofu. All right, so I'm gonna actually leave, like I said, that stirring in the meantime. All right, and meanwhile, that's mixing up. I already have my, I, my, my turner turning. And this turner I got from the company called Tumblr Grip. And they're amazing. They have great customer service and I really, really like them a lot. All right, so this is a six turner, but right now I'm actually just using three. All right, guys, let's see. I'm gonna check on, oh, I'm gonna check on my mix. Let's add those over there. All 
Okie dokie. Okay. Okie dokie. Perfect. All right, so that's completely mixed. I'm going to clean off the little mixer stick that goes inside my, my turner that does my little mixing for me. As you clean it off every time in between so epoxy doesn't dry onto it because it's made of metal. Drop that back into the stirrer. Okay, so now I'll take my little turn, uh, mixer again and uh, I like to give it a little extra just to make sure that it's mixed thoroughly. And then I'm gonna hit it with my heat gun, okay? Just a few seconds. There we go, perfect. So now it's nice and thin. Scrape that off. I'm gonna grab another wipe. If I can get it out of the bag. There we go. All right, I clean off my stirrer. Okay, so now I'm gonna start applying this flood coat to the tumbler. Okay, and I usually use my fingers to spread it around. This tumbler I got from Maker Flow Crafts, and they have great prices on tumblers. I usually use between them and the Steel Depot to get my, my tumblers, because they always seem to have really good prices and their shipping is really fast. All right, so I'm adding on that. Just giving it a nice flood coat. Don't forget the handles, guys, okay? And then once I get it on, I'm actually going to, to hit it with a little heat again, okay? Okay, there we go, perfect. Okay, just make sure every spot's covered, guys, okay? And then don't forget the bottom, okay? Don't forget the bottom. thinking I'm almost got it completely covered. Add some now on the bottom. Don't forget, like I said, on the handle's pretty good. Okay. Still got a little bit more in here, so I'm gonna just add it on here, okay? I'm using my finger to scrape the rest out of the cup. All right, good. Now we got a good flood coat on there. And don't forget also on the edge, as you will pass my finger at the top of the rim and make sure that that's all covered all the way up to the rim as well, guys. Okay, perfect. All right, very good. Okay, good. I'm looking, I'm trying to get underneath the handle as well, guys, on that inner part here. There you go, just drag your finger underneath. Okay. I'm just making every sure every part of that handle got coverage as well. All right, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this cup. And I'm gonna actually clean off my hand with one of those wipes. I'm gonna use my heat gun and just give it a little 
just a little tiny bit of heat. Kind of flatten it up so it's not so lumpy. You don't want to overdo it though, guys, okay? Now wait a few seconds. Okay. Wait a few seconds, let that start to turn. Then I'm gonna drop my colors in. Let's move this out of the way. I used to mix the epoxy. All right. And what is this first color I want to use? I'm going to think I'm going to start. Let's do the white first. I'm using the pinata white first. I'm going to just drop a few drops up and down the cup. bit for the bottom okay okay so I got the white on all right now I'm gonna go in between with the limeade oh I like that limeade it's pretty cool Perfect, I think that's good. I think I'm gonna add in. Now this is gonna be the lime green. I'm not sure what different color this will give us, but I'm gonna see. Okay, it's a little darker. Okay, cool. That's looking pretty good, guys. Um, let's add in the iridescent color. I always love these marabou iridescent colors because it really gives it a good sheen. You gotta shake these up a little bit because it has that ball in there. And I'm gonna drop one drop of that color just randomly around the cup. Okay, and it's giving a really nice sheen to it. Sometimes that little ball gets stuck, guys, so you gotta kinda shake it. Gotta shake it up a little bit more. Okay, cool. Okay, I think that's good enough, guys. All right. Now I wanted to add a tiny little splash of pink. All right, and this is the pinata pink. So this I want to be very sparing with. I'm going to put one drop. One drop there. One drop there one drop in here i'm trying to put it in spots where i see that there wasn't like any coverage i like that what do you guys think All right, guys. All right, now that I got all my colors on, I'm actually gonna stop the turner. Let me just turn it off. Okay, I'm going to unscrew the actual cup because now I'm gonna actually tilt it to make it merge. 
Okay, guys, so just be careful when you're doing this so you don't drop your cup. Okay, very good. So now, I'm just gonna hold it. And just let it slide and drip where it wants to go. So if you notice, the colors are actually kind of blending in together. Okay, if you look at the bottoms, guys, you will see it. It's actually merging down and just really, really making a nice shade to it. So just hold it there for a little bit. All right, when you see it look like it's gonna drip, tilt it the other direction, guys. You see? I'm waiting for it to turn. I mean, if you need it to speed up a little bit, you can. Now, if it looks like it's getting ready to drip off the bottom, you invert it the other way again. Okay. I'm probably going to hit it with a little bit of heat to have it move. I'll probably get my torch to do that. Got to get up and reach for it, guys. Okay. So you can see what's going on here. Heating up it a little bit. Okay, so now that will give it a little more movement. Again, I'm kind of waiting and see what's happening here with the colors. They're really kind of merging into each other. Okay. I mean, look at that on the handle, guys. All right, the trick is to try to get it to kind of move in a north and south direction versus going around in circles, which is what you'll get. You'll just get like stripes. Okay, and you can hit it again with a little more heat if you need to, to get it to move. This is what I'm doing. Okay, so here you go. Look at that. So it's actually, like I said, merging all into each other. Okay, I'm going to turn it this way now and hold it there for a few minutes. Okay, if you want to give a little more heat. That'll help it to merge. There you go, and look what's happening there. All right, look what's happening there, guys. That's beautiful. Here, and on here, you'll get more there. There we go. Okay. And you just keep doing it, guys, till you get a pattern that you really like. This is looking absolutely beautiful. Up, oh, we gotta forget the bottom. So that can actually merge too. Okay, so look what's happening, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Look at all this in here. It's absolutely stunning, guys. Okay, I can hit a little bit more in there with that. It's just, like I said, absolutely stunning. The greens, the blues, the yellows, it's absolutely beautiful. Okay. I see a tiny little lippy there. I'm going to try to get that out. I don't know what that is. Something fell on there. I'll just hit it with some heat. Then have, there you go. How is that guys? Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so now I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna actually 
carefully put it back on my turner and then leave it to turn for at least four hours and then I'll shut off the turner and have it dry for another about 12 hours. And then I could come back and we're gonna put the decal on. All right, thanks for watching you guys.